Hi, this is the viewlet for the PeopleSoft Test Framework, or PTF tool, showing how to create and use test cases, a powerful feature of PTF. Test cases allow a tester to reuse a recorded test for a different set of data without having to record a separate test for each. The classic example of a test case is the multiple hire situation. Let's say you want a, you want a test that hires two employees. The hire action in PeopleSoft involves many pages and fields. Recording and maintaining even the first hire is going to take a lot of work, work that you don't want to double when you hire your second employee. A test automation best practice would be to reuse the logic of that first hire, if at all possible, for the second hire. Finding some way to invoke the second employee's information when the second hire action comes around. In PTF, that's handled easily with test cases. Because the hire example involves so many pages and fields, we'll use a slightly simpler example, the user profile verification recorded in an earlier viewlet. We'll add a test case to the test to allow it to verify roles of two different user profiles, where it currently only verifies one. Here's our user profile test in PTF. We can think of a test case as being all the information in this last column, the value column, where the values of the fields that we're setting or verifying are stored. PTF allows us to copy and switch the data in this column without creating a new test. We do that by either adding a new blank test case to the test up here with the new button, or by copying our existing test case by selecting test, test case save as up here in the menu. When we save a new test case, we give it a name. Our first test case, the one we recorded, is always called default. For the demo, I'll name the new test case default too, but I could give it any name I wanted. Once we have our two test cases, I can switch back and forth between the two test cases using the drop-down in the test case information area. As soon as our test saves, I'll be able to do that. Here we see our original default test case and default 2. The data is the same for both of them since we copied default to make default 2. Once I've selected the test case that I want to modify, I can start changing values. My test instructions call for verifying that the PTF editor user profile should have the PTF editor role. So I think the only fields I need to change here are the one where we enter PTF editor in the user profile search page and the ones on the roles page where we verify the user role name and description. After changing the values, I can execute either test case by selecting the test case in the drop-down and clicking the Run button. Before I run, I'll click Save. and run. When we watch the test execute, we should see that it's recycling all the steps that we recorded for our default test case, but respecting the two or three critical fields that we changed for our new test case. Pages are t just taking a second to come up. Clicking through the links that we recorded, but entering PTF editor as we defined in test case default 2. And also verifying PTF editor in the role name and description field. The test is complete. The log should show that expected results were encountered. The test is still saving. It should take a second to come up.
The log shows that expected results were in fact encountered, so it passed. Successful automation. That, in a nutshell, is how to create and use test cases in PTF. Thanks for watching.